Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a new chapter called carbonyl compounds. Now, this group is called carbonyl group, and we have seen this before. But the C double bond O having two free bonds because carbon having valency four would be making two bond with oxygen, and rest of the two valency of carbon would be free. so that it can be attached to any group right so this group c double bond o having two free bond generally we write it like this having two free bond this group is called carbonyl group so compounds having this carbonyl group would be called as carbonyl compounds let's start to see what kind of compounds would be carbonyl compounds for example suppose i have c double bond o this carbonyl group on one side of carbonyl group i'm having a alkyl group this r is a alkyl group could be methyl ethyl propyl diethyl isopentyl anything and on the other side i'm having hydroxyl group oh now this compound seems to be having c double bond o it seems to be having carbonyl compound so it seems to be it seems to be having a carbonyl group so it seems to be a carbonyl compound but what seems to be may not necessarily be and so is the case here because in this case there is indeed a c double bond o but this c double bond o is not actually a c double bond o because as a chemist as an expert in organic chemistry you have to see things which is not seemingly visible because when we started to study organic chemistry the first major thing that we studied was resonance and in resonance we learned to see the structure which was not shown and we learned to draw the resonating structure and we learned to draw the resonance hybrid and we understood there that what's shown here is not the actual representation of dispersal of electronic density in the molecule because in this case we see that here is a c double bond o and here is a single bond between carbon and oxygen but indeed that's not the case because there's a resonating structure and in this resonating structure there's a double bond between oxygen and carbon at this position and in the resonance hybrid which is a mixture of both these resonating structures there is a double bond character at both the positions with a plus charge on this carbon and a del negative on this carbon so actually this is the resonance hybrid and the real molecule that will exist in nature would be this and not this so we just we don't just have to see at the molecule as it is we have to think of the resonance hybrid how that resonance hybrid will exist but for the simplicity we don't show the double bond characters and partial charges like this we use this structure with the understanding that the original structure is this structure so now in this case we observe that actually there is no c double bond o there are double bond characters at both the positions so the complete nature of a carbonyl group that is c double bond o will not be exhibited by this molecule so this molecule actually doesn't have a carbonyl group and this whole group is carboxylic acid group so we don't say that this is a carbonyl group so we don't call this molecule as carbonyl compound this is the first thing to understand so this is a carboxylic acid this is not a carbonyl compound because there is not a pure c double bond o for that reason similarly we can extend the same very idea of discussion to acyl chlorides and this is a acyl chloride similar to oh group we are having a cl group and this cl group will have three pairs of electron those electrons will be involved in resonance so there will be some partial double bond character at this position and partial double bond character at this position so there is not a pure c double bond o so again this is not a carbonyl compound similarly if we have amides 
instead of OH, if we have NH2, then this nitrogen also has a lone pair. And again, this nitrogen will be involved in resonance and there will be no pure C double bond O, there will be C double bond O character like this. So this is not a carbonyl co compound. So carbonyl compounds will be those which will have pure C double bond O, which will have a pure carbonyl group. So this carboxylic acid, acyl fluoride, amide are not carbonyl compound. And just to add in the list, if you have ester, then again it's not a carbonyl compound because of this oxygen there will be ongoing resonance and there will be no pure C double bond O of this group. So these four compounds, carboxylic acids, acyl chloride, amide, esters are not carbonyl compounds. Clear? Now let's see then which compounds are carbonyl compounds. Now we understood here that because of resonance there is no pure double bond O. So if there is no resonance, then there might be pure double bond O and those compounds might be carbonyl compounds. So instead of this oxygen or nitrogen or chlorine on one side of this C double bond O, if we have a group that cannot show resonance, that cannot participate in resonance, if we have R group on both the sides, now R group we understand is an alkyl group. It will have carbons and hydrogens. So this R group is having a carbon that is directly attached to the carbon of carbonyl group and that carbon do not have lone pair. So if carbon do not have lone pair, there will be no resonance. If there will be no resonance, this carbon oxygen will have a pure double bond. So there will be a pure carbonyl group and this compound is a carbonyl compound. We call it ketone. A ketone is a kind of carbonyl compound which has R groups on both the side of a carbonyl group. So if we have a carbonyl group like this and we have alkyl groups or aryl groups, it could be an open chain, it could be a closed chain, it could be a cyclic non-aromatic, it could be cyclic aromatic ring. Whatever it is, it is a ketone. And there is another possibility that if there is no alkyl group but there's a hydrogen on one side at least on one side on the other side you can have R group on the other side you can have hydrogen as well so if you have a hydrogen on at least one side of carbonyl group then that group is called aldehyde group and the whole compound is called aldehyde so these two both are aldehydes because you have a hydrogen on at least one side of carbonyl group Right, so this will be the smallest possible aldehyde. These will be higher aldehydes depending upon this R group. So these two basically are carbonyl compounds. This is called aldehyde. This is called ketone. Now the names of ketones will depend upon these R group. If you have methyl on both sides, that is called acetone or propenone. Similarly, the names of aldehyde will depend on this R group. It could be acetaldehyde, it could be propenyl, it could be butanyl, pentanyl, benzaldehyde, whatever. And that naming parts uh, we have studied before. So I'll, I'll, I'll not go into the nomenclature of these compounds again. But what we now understand is what are carbonyl compounds? These two are carbonyl compounds. So actually we have to study them separately. There will be some reaction that will be common to both, then we will study them accordingly, clubbed together. But we will start with aldehyde, we will study their method of preparation, we will study their reactions, we will go on to ketone, we will study their method of preparation, their reactions and then certain reactions which will be common to both the groups. So till now we have understood what kind of compounds are carbonyl compounds. Acids, esters, acyl chlorides, amides are not carbonyl compounds. Ketones and aldehydes are two carbonyl compounds. They both together are called carbonyl compounds. Actually, both are carbonyl compounds. So in this chapter, we'll be studying aldehydes and ketones. Let's begin with aldehyde.